Hi everyone, it's Anya from Cooking with Plants and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy condiment that you can serve with so many different things and it is for a golden garlic aioli. It's 100% plant based, it's 100% delicious, so let's get into the recipe. Cooking with plants, vegan made easy. So what I'm going to be using today is my small tri-best blender. So the tri-best blender with the small cup that comes with it. I'll leave a link to this below if you want to check it out. It's a really amazing blender to have on hand just for small jobs for making delicious sauces and condiments. I love using this blender. So like I said, I've got my small cup ready to go and the exact measurements for this, I'll leave a link to the written recipe below as well so you can check that out for the exact quantities if you want to make this yourself. So what I've got is a potato that I've boiled and I had it in the fridge for a day or two. I like to do that for my meal prep, just have them on hand. And I'm just going to put that into this blender cup. And I've still got the skin on there, but if you prefer to remove the skin, that's totally up to you. But there is extra nutrition in the skin. And I like to buy my potatoes organic, so there's no issues there with things leaching into the potato, etc. And then going into your body as well. So organic potato with the skin on, boiled, going into the, the blender. I'm also going to add a clove of garlic. And you can add two cloves of garlic if you really like it garlicky. Put it in, put in as much garlic as you want. But for today, I'm just going to keep it at one clove. And then I've got about a quarter of a teaspoon of turmeric powder also going in. If you wanted to, you could use saffron as well. Just soak some saffron threads and then use some of that liquid if you wanted to use that in here. That would be amazing too. And then I have a teaspoon of Kala Namak. So Kala Namak is also known as black salt. It's very sulfuric. It has a sulfuric smell and it tastes like eggs. So if you're trying to replicate a, an eggy flavor in a vegan dish, then Kala Namak is extremely useful to have on hand. But if you don't have it, just use your regular um, maybe some pink Himalayan salt or some Celtic sea salt just to taste but I'm using a teaspoon of this and it's going to add a nice eggy flavor to this aioli. I'm also adding in some fresh lemon juice and then I'm going to add a touch of almond milk. I've got unsweetened almond milk. You could also use soy milk, you could use oat milk. As long as it's unsweetened it'll work perfectly fine in here. And I'm just going to add about an eighth of a cup just to start with. It always varies as to the amount of liquid that you need to make this because your potato, it might have absorbed a lot more water when you cook it one time as opposed to the next time. So just start with less liquid, start the blending process and then just adjust it to however creamy you want it and the consistency that you want for your sauce. So I'm just going to start with that because I've got the liquid from the lemon juice. I've got the plant-based milk that I've added in as well and I'll just see how that blends up to start with. Okay, I'm just going to check this and see how combined it is. It's still a little bit chunky so I'm just going to add just a small amount of the almond milk, not much at all. I don't want it to turn into a smoothie, aioli smoothie. I don't think so. <laughs> so I'm just going to add a little bit more of that and give it another blend up. Okay, so this is blended up. Oh yes, that's looking nice and thick and nice and creamy. I'm just going to taste a little bit. It smells delicious. Mmm. Oh my goodness. That is so flavorful. All of those ingredients just combine into this magic, magic, magic golden aioli. It's so tasty and delicious. You can put it on sandwiches, put it onto potatoes, mix it through pasta. The options are endless. Oh, 
it just tastes so good i want to make something to go with it now so give this a try come over to the facebook group and join me and lots of other people in there and show me what you're making what you use this with oh, it's just so so tasty so like i said i've got the written recipe below check that link out and come and join me over in facebook and show me your photos i would love to see what you make and also over on instagram tag me if you make this i would love to see your creation it's super super delicious please give it a try and give it a big thumbs up if you love this recipe bye for now